you so much. I want to bring in uh, Niall Gardner, also in London. He was a foreign policy researcher for former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. Niall, good to see you, as always. Um, President Trump you. has been a, a disruptor of NATO since taking office, as he, as he promised he would be. You have said that President Trump was a wake-up call for a complacent alliance. Do you think he's ever gone too far? Well, I think that, uh, you know, President Trump's leadership of the NATO alliance has actually been very effective. If you look at overall levels of defense spending among all NATO partners, they have significantly increased, actually, over the past uh, three years. And even the NATO Secretary General uh, Jens Stoltenberg has been effusive in his praise, actually, of uh, President Trump's leadership of the NATO alliance. So I, I say you have to really look at the big picture here. There are more U.S. troops on the ground now than there were under President Obama. You've got a far bigger U.S. presence now in Eastern Europe. And I think that President Trump's uh, pressure certainly has significantly increased uh, the, uh, the willingness of NATO allies to spend more on defense. Of course, a lot more needs to be done on that front, but we are making progress. Uh, and I would argue that uh, Trump's uh, no-nonsense approach has actually been overall pretty effective in raising uh, the level of pressure on NATO partners. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's also important to point out that many U.S. presidents have appealed for increased defense spending by NATO allies. I think only President Trump has really been successful in delivering that. Well, it's